Good Wednesday morning, Gladiators. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Elsie Kunrenswick, and this is your KWHS News. College visits continue in March with the reps from UNC Greeley visiting us today and the rescheduled visit with the reps from Paul Mitchell School will happen tomorrow at lunch. Next week, on Tuesday, reps from CSU Pueblo will be here and then on Wednesday, reps from Adams State will visit the Lower Commons. Seniors planning to attend PPCC, mark your calendars for this important April visit. The Pikes Peak Community College reps will be here on April 4th to help you complete your admissions application. They will return on April 26th to help you select your classes for the fall semester. You must have a hall pass to attend these college visits. Get those from the Counseling Center. While you're there, check out other important college-related information such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention AP students, avoid the line and pay for your AP exams in the business office or in the counseling center today. The deadline to pay for those exams is this Friday, March 10th. Hey seniors, the final seniors meeting is tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. You must attend this meeting where you will receive important details you need in May because Believe it or not, graduation is right around the corner. Remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. And speaking of graduation, the senior class is asking for your pictures to be used in the graduation slideshow. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and only have seniors in them. If you want your photos to be included in the slideshow, get them in early. Last minute submissions may not be included. Send your photos to TrujilloBen2 at WSD3.org or contact Benny Trujillo directly to make arrangements. Students, if you can't make it to the library during school but need a place to hang out after school, check out the student union where you can work on homework, enjoy puzzles and games, or just unwind with some coloring sheets or Xbox. Student union happens in the library every weekday after school from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You must have an after school sticker to stay and play, but the inexpensive snacks aren't worth your time. Hey John, I bet people are already hungry for lunch. I know I am. Let's check in with Miss Betsy. You got it. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Wednesday everybody. Today we're having super nachos. There's plenty, so come on down and see us. And tomorrow, we're gonna have a pulled pork sandwich. So, hope to see you then. Bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, remember you can't get free food from Taco Bell either. So please pay your lunch charges or add money to your account. Students, if you've ever wanted to donate blood, here's your chance. This Thursday, March 9th, Whitefield High School is hosting a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sign up in the business office and remember to have your driver's license and parental permission to donate. For other eligibility questions, contact the Penrose Blood Bank at 776-5822. Please remember to have breakfast on Thursday morning and drink plenty of water. Now here is Jaden McDonald with, with our sports update. Happy Wednesday, Glads. I'm Jada McDonald, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Want to be a warrior? This Friday, Student Senate is holding warrior games at 6 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Students from Whitefield High School, Found for Carson, and Mesa Ridge will compete in fun games like Human Hungry Hippo, Tug of War, and Relay Races. If you're interested in participating, signups are happening in the quad during lunch this week, or you can see Miss Ship in room 202. Not a player? No problem. We need spectators too. So come cheer on your favorite teams and have a good time. This Saturday is the DECA FBLA Hockey Night starting at 5 p.m. at the Pepsi Center. If you have not purchased your tickets, there's still time. Go to this website. Ticket prices are starting at $28 and remember, DECA FBLA earns $5 for every ticket sold. Now here's Doc with a brief message about National Athletic Trainers Association. guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So this week I want to talk about something a little different. This is March, which means it's National Athletic Trainer Month. So that means that us as athletic trainers get to tell you guys what we do, what we can do for you, and how we can help. And you get to learn a lot about the profession of athletic training. Something near and dear to my heart. I love taking care of you guys and I love to educate you on athletic trainers. You know, we do a lot more than just tape ankles and ice down wounds. So if you have questions, if you're interested, please come by and see me. You can also check out the NATA website at nata.org. Thanks, Doc. 
Remember students, if you're interested in athletic training, please see Doc in Bowers Gym. Our track team is heading to the Pikes Peak invite this week for their first meet of the season at Gary Berry Stadium. We should have great weather to check out some fastest runners on campus. And planning ahead, our varsity ladies tennis team takes the court on Tuesday, March 14th against Bound for Carson on the road at 345. Good luck to all our teams this week. We'll have scores for you as soon as we get them. That is all I have for you today. I'm Jaden McDonald. Have a great week. Back to you, John and Elsie. Thanks, Jaden. Attention students, interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference? The conference date is this Saturday, March 11th at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, the prom is only a month away, so start planning your prom experience by getting your outside guest pass from the main office. Guest passes are due on April 14th to ensure your date can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. The prom will be on April 22nd, and we'll have more information when that date is closer. Ladies, if you want to check out the dresses in Becca's closet for the prom, you can start making those appointments the week of March 20th. See Miss Melina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library to get an early jump on the best free dresses in town. Glads, if you are interested in becoming a Link crew leader, please come to an informational meeting today at lunch in the auditorium. If you are unable to attend this meeting, applications will be available after the meeting in rooms 123, 124, and 201. Congratulations to Ms. Gonzalez for winning the Best Teacher Ever Con, sponsored by Chick-fil-A. She was one of the seven local teachers who won. Ms. Gonzalez won Chick-fil-A for a year from the Fountain Store. Maddie Evans, the student who nominated her, also won Chick-fil-A for a year. Way to go! Finally, Glads, some overdue congratulations are in order. First, to our science club team. They qualified for state on Saturday. Congratulations also to the Widefield Forensics team who won the Traveling Sweepstakes Trophy and will be sending all of our young to compete in a national tournament for World Schools debate. Lastly, congratulations to the Drilling Gladiators, who took second at the Fountain Fort Carson Drill Meet in the Armed Exhibition and third in Unarmed Exhibition. Way to represent Widefield High School. We really appreciate your attention today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Elsie Kunisvika, and this is your KWHS News.